I know why you're here. You're here because you also hate Grom. I absolutely hate it. It's awful. Perfect. Perfect. What's up everybody, welcome back to the channel again. If you're new here, make sure you go down and click the subscribe button. And if you're returning, I of course welcome you back. So in today's video, we're gonna be replacing some more ugly chrome on the M4. We're gonna be swapping the chrome side vents out for some lovely gloss black ones. I absolutely cannot wait, but I first wanna give a huge shout out to Turner Motorsports for sending these out to me. I really appreciate it, you guys are awesome. I look forward to doing some future videos with you guys as well. But we'll go ahead and jump into it. I'm gonna show you guys everything that you're gonna need in order to do this yourself, and then we'll go ahead and swap them out. All right, guys, so this is everything that we're gonna be using for today's installation. Now, this is, of course, our working area for the day. So we're gonna use a microfiber cloth with some isopropyl alcohol to clean our working area before we get started. We're gonna use some painter's tape to help protect the paint. Trim tool set, if you don't have a trim tool set, I'll have one linked below that I use. We're gonna use a flathead screwdriver and then, of course, our new gloss black vent insert. I'll go ahead and get this area prepped and ready to go and we'll get started. So the first thing you always wanna do is make sure that you clean your area of any dirt and debris to avoid scratching it while you're working in the area. So I'm just taking my rag and I'm wiping around this side vent to get rid of all the dirt and debris that is around it and on it so I can avoid scratching the paint as I'm working over here. After that, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our painter's tape and we're just gonna line the edges here. We're gonna be taking some trim tools and prying behind it. So this is just to protect the paint. So it doesn't have to be perfect. You just wanna get it as close to the edge of this as possible. Okay, so now that we got this tape up in place to help protect the paint, what I'm gonna do is direct you to the new vent that we're gonna be replacing with the show this next part since it's a little bit harder since it's already on the car. But if you see here, there is a reflector and this reflector is attached to this back trim piece. This trim piece is actually the housing that actually is attached to the car that the new vent here will actually attach to. And if you look right here, they are connected right here and you can kind of see it right across the top here. So we're gonna be separating the vent from the actual housing here using our trim tool. And we're gonna start on this side and kind of just work our way that way. Right. So it is a little bit difficult, so just take your time doing it. Now, a lot of times when you try to take this off, the housing is gonna pop off with it. That's totally fine, because we're replacing it with a new housing anyways. But basically, once it starts to pry up here, you're just gonna slowly work your way this way and slowly start disconnecting it from the actual housing itself. So you can see now, we have pretty much gotten all of the clips removed from this black housing. Now, the only thing that we have left are just the hooks that hold it in place that are in this vent here. Now, the way the hooks are in there is there's one on the top that's this way and there's one on the bottom that's this way. They hook onto these little fins right here that you see in here. So the way to get these off, and it, it is a little bit difficult, is basically you want to push the whole thing this way and kind of wiggle it and pull it towards you to try to wiggle it out. And if you do break this, that's totally fine. Like I said, we're replacing it with new ones, but just take your time and slowly just work this out. Right, there it goes. So you can see right here, like I mentioned, there's these two little hooks right here. All they do is they hook onto this piece of plastic right here on the inside. So once you slide this out, go ahead and throw this away. Next, we're gonna jump into removing the housing because we are replacing that as well. And the housing itself, the only thing holding this on is one, two, and three clips. This is where our flat head comes in. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our trim tool again just to get under the black piece of plastic. I'm gonna try to pull it up right here, just so I can get my trim tool underneath it. Okay, and that's just to give it some outward force. Next, all you do is you push down on the tabs. See, there's one. And then we'll move to the second one. That one already came loose. And again, just give it some outward force and then push down on the tab. And then that one comes out. And then here is our housing. And like I said, this is completely replaced with the new one. So there's no worries if you break these tabs, they're just gonna get put in a drawer. Okay, so up next, as you know us OCD car people, go ahead and clean your surface. Get this nice and clean since we've got this off anyways. 
All right, now that you got the old one off, you're gonna basically take this one in and put it in one go. So first, we're gonna put in the hooks first. And for those, it's a lot easier than taking it out. You literally just slide it in there where it was, line up the other holes, and boom. Everything clicks right into place. Next, all you need to do is just remove your tape. Now you've got the nice, clean, black reflector and no more chrome. And easy as that. All right, that was another quick and easy Chrome Delete video done on the M4. If you guys need any of the tools or parts that I went over in today's video, they will all be linked down in the description. Another huge shout out to Turner Motorsports for sending over this iVents. I greatly appreciate it, and the link to the part on their website will be linked in the description as well. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you click that like button, subscribe to the channel, and do not forget to hit the bell. As always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope to see you guys in the next one. Thank you